working to prevent divorce in Florida. The state may require engaged couples to read a privately produced healthy marriage guide in order to get a marriage license. Mike Basalinda explains the opposition. At least five states already require couples to read a privately produced publication before they can marry. Florida could be the next if sponsor Dennis Baxley has his way. This is a tool just to foster a discussion. And there's five states where they're doing this with success and have seen their divorce rates go down, which means they're having healthier families. The publication is more like a glossy magazine than the currently required Florida bar pamphlet. Reading one or the other would be required under the legislation that has cleared both House and Senate committees. And how they're going to resolve differences when they disagree, how they're going to prioritize prioritize family spending. The Utah publication encourages people to find the positive in their spouses and even encourages readers to make a list. There's also a quiz on how well you know your husband or wife. It's the height of hypocrisy. Opponent Barbara Devane of Florida now questions lawmakers' own marital commitment. They come in with one spouse, they go out with another, or they get caught with a, their mistress, or and the women too. There have been women too that have done this. The legislation initially stalled when there was a six-member committee that was going to decide what went into the pamphlet. There were fears it would be political, but once the committee came out, the legislation started moving. Clerks of court would be required to post the publication on their websites and hand out copies when available. The cost would be borne by private family groups. Reporting from the state capitol, Mike Vasilinda, Channel 4, the local station. One estimate is that divorce is costing Florida taxpayers nearly $2 billion a year in direct and indirect costs like court time and welfare payments.